okay welcome back to part two um, next we need to um, to see if the directory um, exists um, basically what what um, the method is is to create a new folder um, with that new mixed shuffle with that mixed shuffle as a folder name um, then basically we're going to create an index.php file inside that folder um, that's basically just a header a redirect to the um, the original URL what the user entered so we need to make sure that the, that user the, uh, the directory server is available is not in use so basically we can create an if so if is underscore the which basically means um, is the directory um, does the directory exist basically so does mixed underscore shuffle exist if it does exist then we're going to create an error message and that's equal to um, we're just going to put error please try again because um, we don't want to confuse the user so they'll just click submit again and it will give them a new a new shuffled folder name so else so if so if it is available we can continue on with the script and basically what we're going to do is mkdir which is make directory so if it is available we're going to create that directory and inside this directory we need to create a file path so the file path is equal to um, the name um, and that is two underscores capital file and two underscores again um, basically that just means where where you are located at the moment from the very root I recommend you actually use this if you're going to be using this on a web server because um, if you've got a web server you'll know that um, that your root doesn't actually start from the root you know it goes back a few for the, the server files and other such files and um, so basically after that we're going to concatenate on um, now this is where you'll put forward slash and mixed underscore shuffle the new directory forward slash index.php which we're going to create um, now we actually need to um, create this file so uh, I'm just going to call it index for now because that's what we're creating an index.php file and this is fopen, fopen basically means if it's not already there if it's not there to open create it basically um, so file path and we need to write so that is w um, next we need to put some data into that file so data is equal to um, and this needs to be uh, as you know when I always do these it's always um, something like double quotation marks we need single on this one because um, we're going to be concatenating out um, into PHP again like back into PHP because it doesn't work properly um, so in this one we need PHP header location so we need double quotes that's why location um, and basically we need to um, concatenate out of that and a dot concatenate the URL onto that and then back into the um, the string so it could be pretty complicated but um, that's how it works um, so now we need to write to the files now we've created all, all what we need 
F right. Um, we need to write to the index file, and what do we want to put in the index file? The data. And then we can simply just F close, and we want to close the index file. Um, so basically, that's created the file successfully, but the user doesn't know that yet because we've not told them. So we can just echo. Um, so we're not echo because we're going to be putting it under the um, form. So new URL is equal to um, um, your new. URL oops I think my computer's kind of there we go your new URL um, and we're going to break off go on to another line and then say HTTP www dot and basically you need to put where your folder is structured um, so basically if you're using a domain you would have it like this uh, I'll do what I would do first and then I'll change it to a domain. So I have it as, um, I don't have www because I'm using the localhost. So it's 127.0.0.1 uh, forward slash php forward slash url underscore shortener and it is in there mixed underscore shuffle. So that's basically what the user will see. Um, now as you can see it's not really a very short URL but that's because I'm using two folders and I'm on the localhost. What you would have is something like this if I just copy this down one um, you would have something like um, www.domain.com forward slash mixed shuffle so the dome the, uh, you've got the domain and then the folder straight after. That's what you would have if you're using a domain. Um, basically, you're just putting it where the index file is at the moment, forward slash mixed shuffle. Um, so that's that. Um, I think we're just about done coding PHP. Um, the last bit to do is down here. And that's to put in any of the error messages that we've created. So if is set um, error. So if an error is available, we're just going to basically echo out the error. And we want to create one more if. If the new URL is being is has been created, and basically just echo out to new underscore URL. Oops. Okay. So now let's test this out. And if I just refresh, oops, undefined variable. Uh, that's because we need a set around that, just like that. So if I refresh, there we go. Enter URL. If I enter. Um, something other than this as the first 11 characters we get you must start with that um, I see this has gone back into there because we set it as the default value um, basically now what what other errors did we create um, oh if the directory is the same um, I can show you that but um, there's no point it just comes up with your error message there um, so now if I create something like google.co.uk submit we get your new URL is that and you see how we've got this randomized character randomized directory name right there um, now if I just copy this and then go paste it in the address bar enter oops so we get an error let's just check inside the uh, index PHP file that's created. Um, okay, um, I see what we've not done. We've not finished off the code. Um, so where are we? New URL um, up here. Um, so basically, what we need is after URL, we need 
one of them to break out. Then we need um uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. I think that might be right now. So if I just delete that um original folder that was created and if I just create a new one, so create a new Google, submit, got a new one, copy that, paste, and you can see how it's been redirected to Google. And if I create another one here, um, let's create youtube.com forward slash user, submit, copy that, and paste it into there, and we get redirected to my YouTube channel. Um, so that's how to create a YouTube shortener. Um, fairly simple. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.